Welcome back to Bonjour to the Monde. That was freaking sick. I'm actually here right now. Time for the stadium fact of the day. Time for best of the ballpark. This place is insane. It's a final here from the Target Centers. I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time. Hey guys, welcome back to Garrett Stadium Travel. This is stadium vlog number 28. Right now, I'm in Dallas, Texas, and today I'm going to watch the Dallas Cowboys take on the Detroit Lions at AT&T Stadium. The Cowboys and Lions are both gearing up for the playoffs, and this game has major implications in determining seeding in the NFC. The Cowboys are undefeated at home this year, but that will be tested tonight against a very strong Lions team. Additionally, it's a special day because legendary Cowboys head coach Jimmy Johnson is being inducted into the Cowboys Ring of Honor today. It's a network special Saturday night game, so it's a 7.15 p.m. start. I'm going to explore some of downtown Dallas, then head off to Arlington. Come along with me. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm up here in the 400 level of AT&T Stadium and it's time for the stadium fact of the day. The stadium fact of the day today is all about the Jerrytron. Behind me is the NFL's first ever center hung scoreboard and boy is it Texas sized. Measuring at over 11,000 square feet in size, stretching between the 20 yard lines, the screens consist of 30 million LEDs costing $43 million to build. The Jumbotron is so big that it gets in the way, as punts have hit the Jumbotron on multiple occasions. In the event that a punted ball hits the screen, the play is ruled a dead ball and the down is replayed. The Jerrytron is really cool and provides a unique NFL game experience for fans. Go explore this place a bit more and then grab some food and hopefully enjoy a great game. Let's go.
It's a final here from AT&T Stadium. The Cowboys won it 20 to 19 in a thriller. A two point conversion that was attempted three different times. I've never seen anything like that. And for the win, no less. This was an amazing game. The crowd was great. And uh, the last thing I'll say before I head back to the hotel is in the words of Jimmy Johnson, how about them Cowboys? Peace out for now. Hey guys, just got back to the hotel. Crazy game, crazy ending. There's a bunch of stuff going on on Twitter about the eligibility on that uh, two-point conversion. Of course, it's the Cowboys when the refs are involved, but we're not going to talk about that. Talk about it in the comments, what you thought of that play and all that kind of stuff. Of course, this isn't going to be posted right after the game, so a lot of that stuff will have died down, but let me know your thoughts. But of course, it's the Cowboys, but we don't talk about the refs here. This is stadium only stuff so uh i'm gonna tell you guys what i saw from at t stadium first up the atmosphere the atmosphere was great the atmosphere was unreal Ninety-three thousand people in there i knew there were a lot of people but there were a lot of people the cowboys nation they get down the bull run at the start i was a part of that which was awesome getting to run in with all the rabid fans in the standing room we'll get to standing room only in a bit but the pregame party is on the plaza, just a bunch of stuff to do. Get there early because there's a bunch of stuff to do pregame. The atmosphere, it was loud, it was rowdy, the, pretty much the whole game. Definitely one of the better atmospheres I've experienced. Um, so yeah, atmosphere, amazing, great. One of the best I've seen. Next up is venue. Venue is also really good. at t Stadium is an alien spaceship, pretty much. It is huge. It is huge. I love the Jumbotron, the Jerrytron. Um, it's almost a little distracting, but it's really cool for the uh, for replays and stuff to kind of have that HD 4K for such a big screen. The resolution is amazing. And, you know, it's a modern, huge venue. It's great. There's comfortable seating. I was in the club section, but I did get a chance to sit in regular seats just to test it out. And it was great. Um, venue, really good as well. And next up is Access, and Access is where I have a bone to pick with this stadium. It's in Arlington. First off, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant here, but there is no trains. There is no buses. There is nothing, nothing that gets you out of there public transit-wise. You will be taking an Uber. You will be driving. You will be taking some sort of charter bus if that's what you plan, but you have to drive in and out of here. You have to. There's no other option. And I got screwed tonight. I got screwed tonight. I wasn't fully versed on how to get in and out of AT&T Stadium. I didn't do, I guess, enough research. And I always do research before I go to these stadiums, guys. Trust me. And I ended up paying, in my home currency, Canadian dollars, almost $200 for an Uber back into Dallas. It was insane. I was waiting out there for an hour and a half. I couldn't believe it. It is unbelievable access is horrible to this place you have to drive in when there's almost a hundred thousand people in one place and especially when a game ends like the way it did and everybody's leaving at the same time it's insane it was yeah access is horrible there's no trains that, like there's nothing i get it's in a suburb but there's got to be something that has to be done like there's a so many stadiums around here there's choctaw stadium there's uh globe life field and there's at&t stadium something just connect me up to the TRE line, just something. Because for someone like me, I'm 20 years old. And for those people maybe that can't rent cars for whatever plethora of reasons, you're pretty much screwing those people. Those people that do have to take ride shares, those people that are drinking alcohol at the game and don't have a designated driver, those people are getting completely screwed. So access, really, really bad. Really, really bad. Uh, so last up is pricing. Uh, Pricing wasn't good either. The tickets for this game were really expensive. I think the cheapest ones were like $300. Now I understand the Cowboys are a really good team this year. Jimmy Johnson getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. That's going to inflate your tickets. But 
there were almost no affordable option if you actually wanted to sit in a seat. Now, what I will say is what the Cowboys do really well is the standing room. Standing room only tickets were going for like 150 to I think around $200, which is good. You can get in the stadium. If you're going to a bunch of Cowboy games, you can get those at a discounted price. But for someone like me who wants to explore the stadium, who wants to actually, you know, sit in a seat, because I do a lot of walking before the game around the stadium, usually twice um, exploring, as I like to say. But uh, yeah, those tickets were insane. I can only imagine what they're going to be for playoffs if there's a home game at at t Stadium this year. But uh, yeah, pricing was not great either, of course. A lot of the concessions didn't have pricing um, right on the board, which is always a bad sign. I didn't get to look at that. I did take advantage of some of the club uh, the club food, which was also expensive, but the quality was way higher than what was on the regular concourse. But there were some cool food options, but obviously the pricing is going to be insane. The beer, it was only like $11 for a beer. And in Dallas, I've seen a lot worse at the American Airlines Center. It was a lot more. So yeah, uh, with that, my final ranking for AT&T Stadium, hear me out, is a 10 for atmosphere, a 9 for venue, a 2 for access, and a 3 for pricing, bringing it to a total of 24 out of 40. Now, obviously, that's not a great score. And I love the stadium, and I loved the venue. And this is the first time this has ever happened. Usually when it's good marks across the board, but AT&T Stadium did the first two really well, but the last two not well at all. Uh... This was a long post-game rundown, but I feel like I needed to kind of rant out that uh, my situation here. Obviously, it's not going to happen every time. And when the Cowboys blow teams out or get blown out, which is less often than the first option, like on Thanksgiving, for example, people are going to kind of not leave in droves. So there's more of a chance. But, you know, when the Cowboys are in close games, you could be waiting for hours upon hours to get out of the out of the stadium if you don't want to pay $200, right? So it was... Um, Really unfortunate to see that, but 24 to 40. I still think you should definitely see AT&T Stadium. Like the 24 to 40 rating is because of, you know, because of certain categories, but it's still a great atmosphere. It's still a great venue. Definitely go see it, but be super mindful that you will be paying an arm and a leg to watch this team play in this stadium. So yeah, that's the rating. Uh, Cowboys fans, if you're mad at me, let me know in the comments. Let me know why I messed up and I should have booked an Uber before or whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, the atmosphere was great. The venue was great. Cowboys fans, you guys showed out. So hopefully I get some brownie points with those comments. Um, but uh, yeah, this has been Stadium Vlog number 28. Uh, if you like this kind of content, sports content, stadium content, uh, I'm traveling North America going to all the stadiums that there are to see. So uh, follow along with the journey. Uh, as always, I'm checking off a bucket list one stadium at a time, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.